So, you know, I pretty much just wake up. And, you know, I'm going through videos that people sent me. And then I get this video, Forbidden Love Part 1. Well, actually, the guy from Common Sense was showing me his video, reply to this video. So I'm watching this sh shit. Because that's what it is. Um, I don't give a damn how long anybody was communicating or talking to whoever on the internet. Apparently the person said they were 16 years old. I hope, I hope you made this story up as just like an awareness thing because of some of these other comments I see down there, people calling you pedophile and everything. I hope this is a made up story. If not, you never ever entertain yourself with someone that is a so-called viewer or fan. You know, there's a boundary. This is just like any other thing that is there just for entertainment. Now, do you talk to some of your so-called fans or whatever? Yes, you do. You do talk to these people. And you do speak to them on the phone. That's the whole part of it. That's a big part of this. But I don't even see how you can entertain yourself to start even speaking romantically. This is not a, um, what do you call it, dating service. You type in, uh, uh, you know, action and adventure, and, you know, some girl who wants action and adventure, you know, answers with a video reply. It, it's not that. You, you, you're not on YouTube to make relationships, uh, relationships of that nature. I don't know if anybody, if, if people are on YouTube to make relationships, could somebody let me know? Because I will get off YouTube if YouTube is a dating service. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was doing videos on a dating service. The people that watch me, you know, the ones I speak to are of all ages and um, personal relationships are never part of the com. yeah by the way what's your boyfriend's that come on people want to ask me questions about doing a show topic for them hey I watch your show could you do this for me no problem and I answer people as you see in my videos, I answer to the people. I don't sit there and dwell in their business. I'm not Dr. Phil. I'm not going to try to get no internet relationship going. This dude in this video, to notice that he's a partner, apparently, it's kind of sick. Well... If trash man says some shit like this. After all, we know, you know, the baby food thing. If anybody says something like this, it needs to be taken into consideration. Um, it's pitiful that you would see a grown-ass man on here talking about falling in love with somebody who told him that they're 16 years old. I'll wait. I'll wait until you're 18. I'll be like, what? How? <laughs> Trying to change my phone number. Fuck that. This guy's like, gloomy eyed and shit. Like, he's gonna miss her. No, no. Look at yourself as an entity on YouTube. People come to watch your show for this, that, or the other. If you correspond with people, cool. About talking four and five hours about love and your feelings and all that shit. Man, that's like taking this YouTube thing too serious. 
I'm not Dr. Phil, but I can prescribe one thing for you, buddy. You need help. Even to even think of doing a video in this manner, in this medium, knowing what people would think, you need help. But hey, I'm just somebody on YouTube who says positive things. But I once also said something that was misconstrued. People once also made some false claims about me. Definitely the wrong claim to make about me. And I defend what I said with the basic premise that in the society we live in today things that are seen are accepted. Things that are heard of and not seen. People are like, oh, someone did that. And everybody knows which video I'm talking about. The girl with the damn prom dress. If she would have been on Tyra Banks show, no problem. If she would have been in some magazine, no problem. If she had been walking down the runway in Paris, no problem. If she had been doing some fashion model shoot for any magazine, no problem. But instead, the girl was dressed up like she was going swimming and she went to the prom. There's a problem. Why is there a problem? Why is there a problem? In every movie you see with young girls at that age, they're all acting, quote me if you want to, harsh and trampy. But that's something else. This man is talking about falling in love with a soothing voice on the phone and finding out over the course of six months that this young 19-year-old woman was actually 16 years old. Now, some of the blame also has to fall on the little girl. How are you going to be leading somebody along and slowly you get younger. So there's some help needed on her end also to think they can find love and security in an older man who's doing videos on YouTube. So I, I encourage everyone who's an adult to watch this video and listen to this guy's voice. And if you ever catch your daughter on the phone late at night talking to this motherfucker, shut that motherfucker down. But if he just made up the story to get people excited to say something. How many of the stories on YouTube are actually, you know, real stories? Is it time for me to make a false story to see how many bites and hits and kicks I can get? Oh, well. This video, Forbidden Love, part one, is truly disturbing. But now I gotta watch part two and then three apparently. Must be a whole damn chain of them. So the other ones uh had women, so I'm thinking they're uh, replies. But I personally think if this is real, this is sick. Because you said in your own words and she said she was sixteen. What would you do? Clip do First time that somebody hung the phone up on her that quick she Clip. I'm sixty Clip. Shut a child down, boy, when they step across the line. Especially when you get snookered to the line. Don't go to the line. Don't go stay away from the line. You've been too fucking nieces that are that age. You know what I mean? Little cousins that age. You know what I mean?